Hello beautiful people, welcome once again to my YouTube channel. If you are seeing my face for the first time, I am Amanda Oumitu of the Mandy and Family YouTube channel. I'm a YouTuber based in more precisely like I've been here in Delta State of Nigeria. How are you guys doing? Welcome back to my channel. If you are old and returning your family now, thank you so so much for all you do on my channel. Thanks for the likes, for the shares, for comments, for everything you do. Thank you so so much. Alright, you're new here. You love Christian lifestyles, you love vlogs, faith based content, you love stories, you love story time, you know, stories that motivate you, inspire you, enjoy closer to God, reacting to stories and getting life and lesson from them. And please consider subscribing to my channel. Today we're talking our late sister Osna Chiwajuku. You know, previously, I think we just give an update of what has happened so far according to reports. If that's what you're interested in watching, please keep on watching. Don't go nowhere. Again, like I said, as I was talking, Osinachi Wanchuku. Let's give a backstory for those who do not know, but it's been a popular you know story a couple of months past. Her sister, late sister Osinachi Wanchuku, who was a lead singer in Dunamis International Church in Abuja, you know, was you know involved in some saga, family saga as well. So there were reports that she had issues with her husband, you know, one thing led to another, and uh, there were lots of issues though. She went to the hospital and could not return because you know she went to the world beyond from there. She was a good singer, she sang one of those very popular songs, Ekwe Me, and that was a very, very popular song that she sang. And while she was in the mortuary, the were reports from the mushroom attendants that they heard her singing you know, from the mob and a lot of people were saying ah Osuna Chimachuku she was singing they were they say ah if you start they sing just they sing solo solo song because with here put around and I make her they sing that kind of song now hey, oh this you know a lot of people were sorrowing and a lot of things went on and people have been saying it's possible others say it's not possible how can it be you know a lot of stories were going on so Right now, the National Hospital in Abuja, they've come out to debunk the story. They are saying there's no medical proof whatsoever. There's no medical, you know, scientific, you know, uh, what do I call it now? Scientific backing, as it were, to the fact that someone who has gone to the world beyond can come out and start doing those things that a living person does. You know, they are saying it's not true, that people should not go about with such stories anymore. That it's not possible that her sister has gone to rest. She's with the Lord, and there's no way she would have sank because there's no proof whatsoever. So that's the issue. We came out to speak today. Now, before we go ahead, I just want to ask: Do you think it is possible? It was possible that our sisters that she was singing in the mortuary. You think it was possible? So people are saying it's true. Others are saying it's Nigerians and their mentality too much. Everything on I just attach spiritual. Can he come join now? Somebody is gone and you are saying the person is how far now? Which level? Why? 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 So I want you to leave in the comment section below. It's more like going to be an interactive section as a way. It's not going to, you know, justify anything as a way. Okay, if you have proof whatsoever, you can put it in the comment section below. You think if someone has gone to be with the Lord, is it possible? Remember God was saying that if we, that our life as well, humans would refuse to praise him, that he will raise stones okay could this be the stone one of the stones that god decided to raise with their livings okay for me i think anything is possible for real but to have said she sank i'm not i wasn't there so i cannot categorically say that i know anything is possible that's my own nigerian mentality as well don't just don't mind me i know anything is possible but medically of the truth it might not be possible yeah but i think i know anything is possible so let's keep the conversation going in the comment section below so the hospital management have come out to debunk it and say see listen it's not true okay and a lot of people are reacting to this story and hence i decided to jump onto it as well see listen whether nigeria gets like a mentality we know they spiritual or whatever see your opinion as a way is your opinion a lot of people want to say come out to say things People can become want to become popular by just saying things and people will jump on you know what it is with internet life right now you want something to go viral just put it on the internet and somehow somehow things go viral so we are coming out to say that such informations supposedly medically and otherwise is not possible but still anything is possible but 
let's keep the conversation going in the comment section below that's me oh now i just quickly want to say before i end the video and say this that god that's my one of my favorite scriptures that i love you know quoting as much as i have the opportunity to do that god loves the word so much that he sent his own begotten son that whoever you are whoever believes in him will not perish they have everlasting life so my question to you and i today do you believe in jesus have you known him one-on-one -on -one? do you have a personal relationship with him you know tying this whole thing with osna cheese story one day we are going to be called up yonder if we are called up yonder what would my report be what would your report be believe it or not this is a fact this is a route yeah that everyone would go through one day somehow you know every one of us will go through this route what would be your report when you're called up yonder? So remember this, always try to affect lives. I've done a couple of videos, you know, on the demise of people, and I was saying we need to check ourselves. You know, the Bible says it is better to be, go to a place of mourning than to go to a place of merriment, because then you begin to think of your life. See, oh, this person I know, you know, they will, I'll not go see him again, how far, how my life will be, you know, that should be, you know, that's going to be your thinking as a way and it makes you adjust, it adjusts your life. So try as much as possible to affect life. Suppose I don't get to, I want you to, in your own little way, try to affect lives. You know, whatever, wherever you find yourselves, try to affect life and make sure you live your life for Christ, okay? Try to make people see Christ in you. A lot of people have decided not to become Christians because of the attitude of a lot of Christians. If this one will be Christian, you already say so. If this one will go heaven, I mean, I'm going to be I'm going to be rich heaven. You know, that kind of thing. So we must try as much as possible to make sure that we portray Christ, Christians like Christ. We must portray Christ wherever we are. At every point in time, we must try to portray Christ. Alright, so this is the message I've come out to say today at the hospital management, the National Hospital in Abuja has come out to debunk the story going around that our sister Snatchy, late Snatchy, was singing in the mushroom. They say it's not true and there's no justification, there's no scientific, you know, reasoning that can attach such act to someone who has gone to the world beyond. As always, thank you so, so much for watching. Remember, you must always be good. I will be good as much as I can. I try to affect lives wherever you are. Until I come your way again next time, always, always remember that God loves you. Jesus loves you more and I love you too. Bye. Have a nice day. One, two, three, four.